I used to think that spalling on concrete was as cosmetic as chalk art, until I realized that it can turn your driveway into a hazard and a money pit, and not the good kind. When I say spalling, I'm not talking about spalding, but I am talking about the surface beneath your pickup game, where the concrete is chipping, flaking, or peeling altogether. You might see it as little patches on the edges or big areas where that top layer is just gone. But the kicker is that it can happen on brand new concrete just as easily as older slabs. Yes! As those flaky spots open up, they are gonna let in more moisture. That moisture then freezes, expands, and causes the concrete to deteriorate from the inside out. And the more freestyle cycles it goes through, the worse it gets. Oh, no. no longer just an eyesore, it is now a safety issue, which means it's time for a new game plan, especially if your driveway is doing a better job at defense than you are in the paint. No shit. Deeply pitted concrete can be a trip hazard, especially on porches, steps, or walkways. And what really surprised me when learning more about this is how many things can cause it and how few of them are actually your fault. Salt and winter weather do matter, but spalling can also come from things like poor concrete mix, bad insulation, especially if it's installed during extreme heat or cold, or even the rebar rusting from the inside and pushing the surface outward. This is all a reminder that sometimes the problem starts before the concrete even dries. And this is a reminder to hit subscribe and drop any questions in the comments like, Josh, can I fix it? Answer the well, question. Well, sort of. There's really no permanent fix aside from tearing it out and replacing your concrete altogether, but you can try and slow down its progress and kind of make it look better in the meantime. Some ways that help are penetrating sealers, which bond inside the concrete to block moisture and reduce that freeze thaw damage. Overlays can cosmetically smooth the surface, though they often flake off again and don't really match. Basically what I'm saying is that the best time to prevent spalling is before it even starts. And you can do that by sealing your concrete early with a penetrating sealer. Caulk those cracks to stop water from seeping down below the surface. And if done early, there are more small maintenance steps that you can do to save you thousands down the road. If you're seeing the early signs of spalling, or you just wanna make sure it's not too late, have someone like A1 take a look. If you enjoyed this video and you want more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.